Today on Papa G's World, we're going to build a squirrel picnic table just in time for Mother's Day. Come on, let's go. All you're going to need is one two by four, eight foot long, a one by four, four foot long, and four foot of a two by two and whatever nails you have. It's an easy project, quick and simple. We're gonna start by cutting our two by fours. We're gonna need five of them at 12 inches long. Mark your two by fours at 12 inches and cut. Now it's time to do your legs on the table. So get your square and mark your lines on a 45 degree angle. And then you can cut them. You will need four at six inches long. And now we're gonna cut the two by twos which support the benches. They're gonna be 19 and a half inches long. Mark them and cut them. Now that you have all your pieces cut, you can mock up the table so that you can see how it's gonna work. I pre-drilled my holes in my two by twos just so they wouldn't split. And then I secured them with three inch long wood screws with the T25 head. Now I'm gonna mark my lines where I want my benches to sit and screw the legs to the two by twos. This will form the sides. Once you get one done, you just repeat the same process for the other side to get the four legs. Here I'm pre-drilling some screws into the top piece. Be careful not to drill yourself like I just did. I'm gonna finish up putting the three pieces on the top of the picnic table. There I'm showing you how the table looks, putting the benches on each side. And securing those with the wood screws. So I'm going to use a five inch long bolt. I'm going to drill a hole in the center of the picnic table and insert the bolt from the bottom up. And then you put a nut on it to tighten it down and that becomes what holds the corn on the cob that the squirrels like to eat. Now we're gonna do the trim pieces that are made from the one by four board. 
they're going to be cut on an angle as well. You want to take a measurement of the tabletop. It should be 12 inches. You're going to mark it and mark your line. And then on the side, you're going to need the 45 degree angle. So using your square or angle, you want to set your skill saw on a 45 degree angle and make the cut. And that's what it should look like. And then you want to secure it to the two by fours with the wood screw. One in each side. All right, there's the sides. And now I just need to put the two other ones to complete the little box. We do this so the corn will stay up on the, in the, on the tabletop. And it doesn't get knocked off. Our table is now complete. All we have left to do is stain it with some nice stain. The stain really ties it all together. Makes it look like a more professional job. I am no carpenter. I don't claim to be. I had some scrap lumber laying around one day and decided to build this thing. And so that's why you see some burgundy paint on some of the two by fours. And it was actually the stands I used when I painted my truck. Now I'm going to show you how to drill out the corn down through the center real carefully and place it over the top of the bowl. And the squirrels are ready to eat. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stick around until after the outro to see some backyard wrestling from my cousins and brothers and I. Boom! Boom! Double up! Yeah! Boom! <laughs>